I'd like to say rest in peace to Roy Emery. Um, for anybody who doesn't know who he is, he was a hockey player. And he was also known for being a fucking hothead. Um, he was basically every support, every player in every sport has like basically what they call that hot-headedness and basically they don't know how to control their cold and every player and in ba- every and every player in certain sports have that type of what they call bad boy image um but he was a hockey player that played for about 14 years he played up until about 2016 and then walked away at t- in 2016 um he won two Stanley Cups which are what is, is like it's like basically it's like the trophy that they get for winning winning at all and uh, for the hockey team winning at all he won one with the senators and then he was also uh, on, he also won another one when he was playing for the blackhawks in 2012 2013 season and he was a goalie so his job was to basically try to catch the puck or either try to block the puck and those fucking things hurt like hell fuck at, when a when a when a hockey player hits that, you, you basically that's why they got these type of thick gloves that you catch, catch it with, so it doesn't hurt your hand, but it still hurts like a bitch. Um, from what I see on my phone here, it says he was 35 and he died in a drowning accident. It said that basically he was at a yacht club, he dived into the pool and he did not resurface. Um, so I don't know what caused him to not resurface. He could, more than likely, he probably hit his head. And did not resurface. It probably knocked him out. And if it knocked him out, then of course that would be cause for him drowning. Or he also had a history of drug use too. So if he so if he was doing drugs before he dived in, the drugs could have knocked him out, and, he, and also that could have been a problem too with that. But I said, hell, but it's kind of sucks to see that see this happen.